Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and as well Cancer Rising, a weekly tarot reading October 7th to a October 13th 2019 and bear with me just a second guys here to um, shuffle the tarot cards or do the shuffling and uh, we are going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of uh, your week, uh, that is going to be the Knight of Swords, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that will be the Five of Swords. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the positive aspect uh, throughout the week, uh, that will be uh, the Lover's card. And then the last one here, which represents the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you, we do have the King of Pentacles. So once again, um, Knight of Swords is going to be the topic, the very theme of your week, followed by the challenges that you need to overcome of the Five of Swords. Afterwards, it is the Lover's card, which represents the, the uh, positive aspect that you are going to experience throughout the week. And the last one here is going to be the King of Pentacles, which stands for the Guidance. All right, so uh, Knight of Swords is going to be catalyzed by the Star card. Oh my God. So that that is a, a person, a very powerful individual, to be honest, a very enthusiastic individual and very unyielding individual. What I mean is that this one is always ready to jump into action and laugh in face of danger. Not to mention that it is very, very smart, very calculative, but the good thing, the good stuff about the Knight of Swords, it is that the swords have not polluted his, his heart yet. Okay, so this one is also fully capable to uh, have emotions, or rather like to fall in love, let's say, or to feel bad about something, but, uh, he is also very, um, or it could be as well, she, you know, that I'm saying that that's a person. <clears throat> it kind of like does not allow those emotions to kind of sway him uh, toward the extreme, meaning that it's not going to make a, a, a bad or stupid decisions just because he feels enraged by something or bad by something or he is emotionally hurt by something and uh, with the catalyst of the star it does look like that uh, how can i say it? that he is either inspired by you okay or he wants to cooperate with you for one or another reason but definitely as with the star card uh, it does look like that the emotions are there and especially with the lover's card at the third position i mean it's really the emotions are, are there at least there will be a flirting all right that, that's the very least that there will be a flirting in between you two and together you're gonna jump into certain enterprises and with the star card here i mean he he or she does really hope that those enterprises are gonna go for a a long run i mean he that that person really has a high expectations high ideals 
in regards to you and how you both are going to cooperate. But unfortunately, we do have the Five of Swords into the challenges and I'm crossing my fingers for this one. Come on guys, we need a, a pentacle card so we can form a, an active enemies here. And what do you know? We do have a, a pentacle card. Active enemies is what we do have and um, that will be in the face of the Queen of Pentacles. So we do have the people around you who are highly displeased and disturbed by the appearance of the Knight of Swords, all right? They do not like that person because they see how big affinity you're gonna have toward this person. They want to exert every single shred of power, uh, every single shred of uh, opportunity to humiliate you so they can sway you off the path continuing together with the Knight of Swords. But what they do not understand, it is that you see through it, all right? With the, king, with the Queen of Pentacles, you very well know that these people are around you just, be, just, to, just to feel the gaps, just to, 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 I don't know how to say it, to feel the, to, to fill up the empty space. And no matter what anybody around you says, only thing that will matter to you at the end of the day, it is what you do see when you stand in front of the mirror, you know, and how much potential certain enterprises are offering to you. And certainly with those people here, uh, of, um, symbolized by the Five of Swords, there is no potential at all. As a matter of fact, they are uh, at this very moment, they are, uh, alienating from you and you are going to recognize them by them giving you a bad advices. I mean, selfish advices, advices that serve them only a favor and does not serve you any favor at all. I'm, I'm, I mean, those advices are going to be um, directed against a certain individual, against the Knight of Swords. So, however, we go to the good stuff here and that will be the positive aspect of your week and that will be the lover's card and it is catalyzed here by the page of cups so we do have an, an active neutrals in this particular case and like i said there will be a flirting there will be some a, a pleasant emotions you know love also it's not excluded but that is not going to change you that's the whole point of the page of cups sitting here. I mean, you're going to become the same person. You're not going to abandon your friends because you fell in love with someone or because you are dealing now with an exciting enterprise that you're falling in love with. All right. Now, also, these two cards are pointing that you did a right decision back in the days. And now that decision pays off by many of your current issues are starting to simply revolve, uh, resolve themselves simply on their own accord. All right. And the best thing about these two cards, it is that you don't have to change yourself or rather like you don't have to change anything into your environment. That is, you know, how you deal with your family, how you deal into your career as well, you know, your performance in general. So you can enter into the new era of your life, the new era that the uh, Knight of, uh, of Swords is a bringer of. OK, so this person brings change, but you are fully prepared for it okay and should you need to make a decision throughout these uh throughout these couple of weeks i would say that you need to go with your feelings uh meaning that you should decide in favor of what you like and what you want against what you have to okay but once again i cannot stress you enough try to uh, constrain yourself of uh, being around a noxious people, people who have nothing positive to say. This is how you're going to recognize them. They always try to manipulate, they intimidate as well. And they are, their art of persuasi persuading people is the humiliation because you have no choice but to agree with them because otherwise you're going to be humiliated. You don't need such people around you. And finally, at the last, we do have uh, the uh, King of Pentacles here, which is the guidance the Tower is offering. And it is catalyzed, one second, with uh, the um, Death card. So passive friends, it is what we do have at that stage. And it seems that uh, you gotta, I cannot say that you gotta take the things slowly here, right? But definitely whenever, um, 
but whenever you cooperate with the with the Knights of Swords, and there is a certain change of your initial plans before the Knights of Swords came into the picture, you need to show your expectations, kind of like you need to um, be assured that there is something in for you as well, because you shouldn't act of charity on a pure belief as well. I mean, there we, there, there should have been something like a uh, either contract or or, or a, uh, a verbal agreement, because the Knight of Swords is a very also honorable person. I mean, uh, he, he would die before he kind of cross his word or doesn't keep his word if if it is up to him he's gonna spill out blood but he is going to fulfill his end of the bargain so make your bargains right here it is what we are uh, it is what i am trying to say but also think for yourself as well in a sense of that um, how much you can benefit from the certain transition going from being solo with cooperating with the uh, Knights of Swords, either business or relationship-wise, because like, like we said, uh, that could be flirting. There will be an emotional connection there, you know, but also could involve a, a business endeavor as well. Uh, the, the thing here uh, with uh, these two cards, the, the uh, King of Pentacles and the the death card is that uh, it, without you knowing it or without you feeling the stress and, and the tension of it, things are going to uh, start taking a different turn or rather like they will start changing, for example, from a stressful career into a pleasant career, from stressful life into pleasant life. And uh, the sacrifices that you will need to do so you can have those, uh, those changes are not going to be that big at all. But at the end of the day, um, you have to uh, negotiate your rules and negotiate your terms as well. My point here, guys, is that you also you always have to do something for uh, a certain payoff. And especially if you can't do it well. When you can't do something well, never do it for free, right? And lastly, with these uh, last two cards, I would say that before you jump into serious um, uh, with si serious improvement with the Knights of Swords, you have to sort and settle your uh, your things and your deals that does not include the Knight of Swords. For example, if that is a, a new um, a new in, a romantic interest for you, but you are currently undergoing divorce make the divorce first, I mean, finalize the divorce first before you actually announce the um, the new romantic relationship that you do have. First, secure your current positions and then uh, make the cooperation with the Knight of Swords public. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading cancer for a October uh, 7 to October 13, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.